but it is crazy. Like, he had one hand on the... What the... Oh, my God! What, what happened, the... babe? Ah! Ah! Oh, my God! What is he do? Babe! Babe, what happened? Oh, shit. I don't know. Babe. It is now illegal to go through your husband's phone. And this is for every ear that can hear me. This is not just a Texas issue. This is also a federal crime. The Federal Wiretap Act states it is unlawful to intercept any wire, oral, or electronic communication. Two teachers and two aides have been suspended so far. Still, they don't feel comfortable sending their kids back to school. What happened with the sticker? The sticker um, makes me fall asleep. This is four-year-old Lane Luviano. She's the one that broke this case open in September when she snuck one of her sleepy stickers out of the classroom. There we go! Yeah. The, the, industry, the industry plants are in the building. <laughs> This John, any cut, any cut up already? The already, plants are in the building. <laughs> Listen, they say it was a song. I forget the young man's name. A couple years ago, I apologize. Uh, Meek, Meek did a remix, and it was a song that said, "If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. You ain't popping." And it looks like. We got haters. Hey, so. we doing something right. Doing something right. Listen, we industry plant. <laughs> this joint is popping. You know. This yeah, I mean. Yeah. We got a hell of a lineup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, y
today he will get us. 17. 17 years old. 17. 17. Out there committing crimes. You know what I mean? Since we got a lot of flack from the last I was criminal t- video <laughs> that we had aired. But before I kick it off, man, all I want to say is this, man. Don't do the crime if you're not ready right. to do the time. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know if that young man did it because we don't know if he's guilty right. or right. innocent. Right. All I know that is when the detectives call you and ask you to come down and talk. They know <laughs> something. Yeah, they know something. They know so they don't want to know what you know before they pin that charge on you. But I'll pass it off, man. Who who am I passing this to? Who, 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 who lady of the hour. L- lady hey. Yeah, there she go, hey, goddamn. Miss, Miss Honey Tip T. So here, this is my thing. Yeah. Whether you're 17 or 27. Or 97. Hey, don't do illegal crap. You don't have to worry about going to jail. You don't have to worry about mm-hmm. not seeing the light of day no more. Mm-hmm. Look, it is what it is. Seventeen twenty-seven. If you did, if you if you unalive somebody, hey, it, it's wrong. And just just in general, it's just wrong. There's, there's no way around that. So I guess well, I guess he figured because he was dealing with an African American cop detective that he was going to hook. He was going to try up. to make him a deal or something. Nah, mm-mm, nope. They oh. must have had something on you, boy. Must well, have had something on you. Yeah. Well, normally they they always know something. They want to know what you know. You know what I mean? What you got to say, bro? They gave y'all the calm version. Here, I'm going to give y'all the real version, okay? <laughs> give us a real. 17, 27, 42, whatever. At the end of the day, you in there trying to uh, negotiate like you trying to get your grade up from a D <laughs> to a C. We're talking yeah, about li- life and death, okay? <laughs> Wallow said it best. Shout out to Wallow. It is expensive to be a criminal. I've never been in an interrogation room. You know why? Because I ain't never had a reason to be interrogated. So at the end of the day, like they said, they probably know you was doing something. Mm -hmm. So for you to say, I thought I was coming down here for an interview, are you telling me I'm going to... Yeah. They obviously got enough... They got to have something on you. They have to have probable cause to to arrest you. They can't just arrest you to arrest you. So again, and I'm not talking about... I know we got a lot of innocent people in them jails, free those innocent people, but we got a lot of guilty people too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So your guilty ass need to go to guilty jail. Now, yeah. again, I don't know this young man's situation, but the way he was trying to negotiate, this is what I always say: if you're gonna be a criminal, at least learn the law. Be, at least learn be the a, law. Be, yeah. Be a. <laughs> when you go in there, what they say? The first thing they say is, "Shut the hell up." Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's yeah. your name? M- lawyer. Right. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, we picked you up. Where did Lawyer. we pick you up? Lawyer. Lawyer. Exactly. Well, you know what? What he should have he should have called his. Well, I don't see. He might not have an attorney because. Well, well, at they seventeen, say. but see, at seventeen, he's still a minor. He could have called his parents. He called his parents. Oh, even if he didn't. And even if he didn't. Even if he know he didn't know that. We've seen too, there's too many cop shows. There's too Law and Order been on for 46 years. Right. Okay, there's no way in the world he might not watch Law and Order, but I know his mom or his grandmama did. There's no way in the world he never seen a lawyer right. in the room. Again, that's why I say if you're gonna be a criminal, learn the criminal. Way. Listen, I'm not learn saying nothing. I'm walking in here because again, in your Miranda rights, what do they say? If you do not have attorney, one, one can be, be appointed. Appointed for you. Okay, lawyer. Shut the hell up, lawyer. <laughs> yeah. It's that simple. <laughs> he need he needs to look at that television more. He oh, he over there. Listen, man. No, I'm just what saying. he need to be doing is in them books. If I get you three you donuts. At 17, ain't no TV. He need to be in them books and stop hanging with the wrong people. But at the end of the day, we like CJ said, we don't know what he did. He could be innocent. So at this point, based on what we just saw, them twelve jurors gotta make that decision, that that determination mm-hmm. on whether you guilty mm-hmm. or, or you know, or innocent. For so, sure. you know, if you did something, it's like, wait a minute, you, you're not going to sit here and negotiate with the cop now at this point. Like, if you did something wrong, you did something you did wrong. wrong. Look, the, the cop was looking like, well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I mean, He's bro, sick. you came down here <laughs> unprepared, <laughs> so you know what's going to happen. He said to him, uh, I got to lock you up. He said, uh, <laughs> you going to have to take that up with the court. Right. <laughs> it's past me now, bro. I'm, you here now? Thank you. I can't help you no more. Like, let's work. I got Sorry. it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, like, hey, come like, like, well, you should never came down here. Uh, right. <laughs> you sh- hey, you should have been a real criminal and stayed on the run. I, mean, I don't know. Like, yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> I, that's what, but listen, listen, I, listen. I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to be harsh. Should have stayed on the run. Yeah, if you're a criminal, just take the whole criminal thing. Like, don't, don't be a criminal. And that's what I be saying. 
you can't be a criminal and be soft. Like all these dudes that be telling and all, why? You knew you was going to tell as soon as, as soon the crime, got down as soon as the idea. Look, oh, listen, look. we going to rob Miss Barber down the street. You should have said, oh, hell no. Uh-uh, because if I get in there, I'm telling. Like, is that simple? Like, uh, I'm just saying. Missing more. <laughs> what? AJ. What? <laughs> <laughs> just got a message. Oh, daddy, you left me on the phone. <laughs> Listen, this is what happens when you when you leave your when you leave your, your phone at home with your kids. See? Oh. Hold on, yo, we gotta get some shout outs, man. My man El Plaga, oh, in the building. What's good, El? Ah. Yeah, I mean. So we got CJ Kids in the oh, building, son. <laughs> give it up, for, give it up for TJ's son. <laughs> Don't make no damn sense. I'm out here trying to get this money. They bother me. Man can't even work. Let, peace. Letting Daddy know that he left his phone at home. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a responsible young man. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God. You know, G, oh, G would have been on Kiss YouTube. That's my younger son uh-huh. too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, let, let's go to the comments, man. So. First comment is from Biggest Merck. Big Merck says, bro, bro thought he was at the principal's office. Oh, right, <laughs> yes. right, right, yes. right. <laughs> bro, come on, bro. He trying to make deals up in there. Listen, if I get you three donuts, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, can I get out by seven? Because I, I need to go home. Like, yeah, because you know what? Can I, I, I got some extra credit. Can I do that? Can I turn that Listen, extra I swear I'm going to turn it in by the 13th. I swear. I know I was sick last week. Like, come on. Yeah, man. He up in A said, listen, listen, look, you know I'm going to start singing. Let me start singing right now so I can mm. go home. Mm. Um, mm. So we got so comment number two from um, these. I'm glad he didn't finish his uh, title. Thank you, Dees. Uh, Never jump the fence unless you're willing to face what's on the other side. Exactly. Dexter Morgan. Completely true. Right. Yeah, completely true. You do something, it's always, it's consequences to everything in life. That's why it's like always just Mm -hmm. try to, try to live right. Try to, you know, do what's right. You don't have to worry about facing those consequences of going to nobody's jail. For sure. For because sure. Uh, at that point, it's out of control, out of your control, out of your hands, and you got to do exactly what them CEOs in the states and the courts tell you to do. Yeah. So this comment number three from Original Imposter. Mr. Imposter says, bro didn't care about the dead person not seeing the light of day. No more yet. They got to bend the rules for this kid. And they didn't. Hmm. You know, that guy let him know, like, listen, there's nothing I can do. You already here. Yeah, because my thing is, is okay, let's just say the the... It was vice versa. The shoe was on the other foot, and he was the one that's unalive. And yeah. now his his family yep. is trying yep. to find out who did it to him. So Traumatized. It's like, you know, you can't you can't do that to people. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't. That's what, listen, you can't do this. If you can't, if you're not ready to do the time, don't do the crime, man. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it was a crime. I don't care. You 17, 77, whatever. And again, it's it's. I'm not saying I don't want to say rare, but if they got you down there, they know something. Yeah. They already know. They know something. So it's like. Again, like if you're going to be a criminal, be all the way or don't be a criminal. Yeah, but see, at I all. guess my thing is, is by him being 17, how was they even uh, questioning him without a parent present? Because he came down there. They're not going to miss that opportunity to question somebody. Listen, them cops were sitting back. They talking about, oh shit, he showed up. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> we, got, we got another one. Jerquavius is here? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> so, who, who, what's his relation to Jerquavion? No, Turquavion. Turquavion. So, Jerquavius. Oh, Lord. Cousin. Mercy. <laughs> He's ghetto names. Uh-uh, don't be saying ghetto. <laughs> they, they're cultured. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. Video number two. What's it? T. T. Carla. What's video number two? I don't know what is video number two. You tell me what is video number two. You mean dos? Uh, there we go. Okay. I mean, damn. Say, what is video number you gotta two? Gotta roll you... the tongue, dos. <sighs> hey, I, you know I can't. Okay. Wait a minute. It's it's it's. <laughs> I know you used to roll in the tongue now. <laughs> <laughs> this time after dark, dark, dark. I I think I felt a little uh a little uh kitty shock. <sighs> Yeah, you felt something. <laughs> oh, it wasn't <laughs> kitty. <laughs> all right, so there was an attempt of an insurance fraud in Queens. This video is all over the internet. And I'm sure you've probably seen it by now, but yeah, we got it. This joint podcast, man. We're Peanut at. Come on, Peanut. Let's go. It's Bishop.
Let's jump podcast. Aww. Let's go. But it's crazy. Like, he had one hand on the... What the... Oh, my God. Oh, oh, what happened, babe? Uh, oh, ah! oh, my God. What is he do? Babe. Babe, what happened? Oh, shit. I don't know. Babe. I got into an accident. I got into an accident. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Where babe. are you? I'm on the Bell Parkway. This guy just reversed into me. What the hell is going on? Reversed into you? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, fuck, oh I'm shaking. Oh my god. Babe, babe, babe. Yeah. Just stay there. Oh my god. Fuck, oh my god. Where on the Bell Parkway? Oh, uh, holy shit. You know, after that turn? Yeah. Fuck. Oh my babe, god. It's okay. Just, right, hold on, hold on. Just... Hold on, okay? Fuck. Hold on, babe. Oh, fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Be like, oh, oh shit, she funny. got a camera. She got a camera. Oh, funny. <laughs> how, do you, how you going to crap like that? Hey, Matt, come to tea. Let I me ask you something. People these days just wrong. Let me ask you something. Yeah. What would you have done if you was that lady in the, in, in the driver's seat? Man. I'm curious. In this life now. In this life now. I probably would have did the same thing as she's doing right now. Staying in that car. You wanna calming myself down. Yep. Get out of here. Yup. I ain't trying to be in nobody's jail like that boy in that first video. Man, I, I'd have <laughs> fell out and everything. <laughs> trying, to, listen, <laughs> trying to catch a case. Look, everybody's <laughs> so happy now these days. Yeah. Oh my neck. Because it's my so neck easy to do. Neck. And there's no real repercussions. Yeah. If but, I sue. but now let me no, peep it. So what I found out is that the newer cars have a sensor. Where yeah. they can detect where, yeah. like, if you slam on your brakes, yeah. mm -hmm. they can detect you slamming on your brakes, and then they can they can detect the impact. Yeah. So if you slam on your brakes, and then a few seconds later an impact happened, they know something was wrong. Yeah. Then they'll check the other car mm -hmm. sensor, and they see that he may have slammed on his, on his brakes or whatever, and then he backed up into him. Like, I don't know, man. It's some yeah, but in this shit, situation, whatever, whatever, whatever. she got the video. Oh yeah, listen, I'm, like, I'm you ready. Wrong. They just did wrong. I, I'm ready to grab me one of those uh, dash cam, yeah, yeah. Um, cameras, man. No, nah, I don't. I don't want none of the things that I be doing. <laughs> oh my <laughs> lord, she <laughs> over this mall. She over this joint after dark. <laughs> Patreon <laughs> coming soon, maybe yeah. Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, I'm Back to the video, brother. <laughs> what would you do, Doc? <laughs> listen, <laughs> but now to me it makes sense, like why people had those dash cams because. You know, I've been driving for a long time. I never thought of that. I never thought that somebody would swerve try to in pull front of me. Like that. And then, I mean, I've I've been in behind people where they try to stop. You know, quick break, break right, check, right. Yeah. break check. Yeah, but it's like, yo, that's crazy. That mm. that's crazy. I mean, yeah. I mean, listen. Somebody tried to break. I mean, listen. I've been brake checked before. Yeah, like, and I pull on the side. I curse him. That was crazy though to come over in the lane and then back up. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's 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 diabolical. You know, what I mean? he probably is like, oh damn, she didn't hit me. Back it up, back it up, babe. Back it up. And she said, you know what? She gonna hit this car today. And right. Boom. Yeah. Oh my god. I tell you. And again, she was a female, so you know she probably was shook. Like, oh my god! So and my thing is, is like, I wonder what happened before that. Did something? This was some kind no, of interaction. I know, but what I'm saying is, is I wonder if there was some kind of interaction, maybe like some kind of, you know, before before this, for them to hmm. target her. I don't think so. You know what I think? I think that they was just trying to find somebody to get, which is crazy. And you, they picked the wrong one. Who had a goddamn Dumb. dash cam? Big dummy. All right. <laughs> I don't. Re I need a dash cam now. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm thinking like, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna have yeah. to definitely give me one of those. Yeah. So let's go to the comments. So, comment number one from the TikTok attorney. He says, "Well, well, well. Criminal conduct never sleep. Always have a dash cam." Yeah, he said, man. "Right, a dash cam. That's crazy. Gotta get a dash cam, y'all. Gotta get a dash. I'll tell you." I mean, I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I, let me put the camera on me. I'm gonna, I'm talking to my homeboy real quick. So is my, is my dash cam gonna, gonna, gonna capture when I'm like chasing? See, me? that's what I'm saying. <laughs> See, I know T probably over that jaw. Have you ever heard a dash cam be like this? <laughs> no, no. First of all, <laughs> boy, dude, all up in the back, face all in the camera. <laughs> Hold on. Did you hear what she just said? Is my dash cam gonna catch when I'm chasing people? <laughs> Oh shit! Do you know that the I, that I called that? the Fifth Amendment, where you 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 don't have to snitch on yourself <laughs> because you just snitch to the whole 
<laughs> world that you be chasing people. I don't chase nobody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, she chasing. Yeah, I know what she be chasing. You know what she chasing that. <laughs> <laughs> like Kim, Kim, don't you be running? <laughs> don't you run from me? <laughs> All right, let's go to comment number two. Comment number two from Iris. Iris says, "Them all recording like you're in the wrong, and then the guy realizing you have a dash cam is killing me." Right? Yeah, you he, see how quick he turned around? He was like, "Oh man, he? I don't want you to see my face." Like, uh oh. His eyes got big. He's like. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, turn around. Let's the kick. <laughs> get your face get your get your up. Off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would say just like them damn black women, man. But uh, what? I can't blame her on the black women this time because yeah, it was please. a Puerto Rican woman that was driving a car. So. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> or or Mexican? I don't know. Venezuelan? Who knows? Hey, <laughs> yeah, I mean. it's people and people in general. People in general, I know. I, I'm making a joke. I'm making a funny YouTube. Please do not, you know, do not hold T accountable for what I said. <laughs> ain't no T. You got a mouth of your own. It ain't come out of my mouth. <laughs> what did you say? You know what? You don't know what came in your mouth? Oh my God. Let me oh, stop. Hey. <laughs> that melted ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. <laughs> you know what, y'all? <laughs> We go after this. <laughs> well, we about to get an email, boys. I'm gonna listen, y'all. Oh, y'all, you, y'all got to go to Rumble or something. Can, can, <laughs> can you put the camera back? There you go, bro. Hey, how you doing, YouTube? How you doing? This is CJ. Um, I hope y'all doing good out there. Um, we definitely like the community, and we definitely love the guidelines. So um, we definitely fo- follow the community guidelines. And um, you can scratch that last part. I don't know what happened. I think what last part. You could scratch that last part. I, I don't know what happened. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all. He speaks for himself. It's all her fault. So no, I speak for this joint. He, he speaks for himself. Yeah, yeah look, I, got, I got point over there because she by, damn near behind she me. She speaks what? for herself. Yeah. Yeah, Not yeah. this joint. Thank yeah, you. This joint after dark. <laughs> it looks like it's two against one this time, CJ. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I throw you to two against one. Whoa. <laughs> You see, I had to say that real low. But look, look, look. Comment number three, y'all. Comment number three is from Carlito. Carlito says, clear as day, it's insurance fraud. Dude got out the car, yep. walked towards the back, and realized you had a camera. Right. Yep. Dumb. Yes. Dumb. Yes. That's just like how when people be all of a sudden just like slipping on your pavements. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh they gosh. still do that? Yes. Yes. Get the fuck. They still do that? Yes, yeah. they do. Yeah. That's why everybody's just trying to make a quick dollar. It's a mess. Yeah, I mean, I ain't always still do that. Yes, they Shit, do. maybe I need to do that. Yeah, here you go. See, oh, Jay, you just put yourself now. Go, don't fall. Because then they'll be like, wait a minute. On October 22nd, 2024, <laughs> you said. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> then they're talking about, yeah, he fell, and then they still had a show that night. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't going to do it on a Tuesday. <laughs> 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 That's your podcast, man. Podcast. I told y'all we got a hell of a show. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. You heard the man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Don't let him get ugly up in this moment. <laughs> Ain't nobody ugly up in this joint. Especially not about, over man. here. Oh, yeah, I mean, we blowing this motherfucker <laughs> up. <laughs> so where we at? Um, video number three. Video number uh, three. Oh, video number three. America, YouTube. Uh-oh. Guess what? Uh-oh. Well, Hold on, let me, let me get on him. Let me get on him. You have a G's. It's illegal to go through a man's phone now. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you half a G's? Where peanut at? Come on, peanut. Yeah. It's this jump podcast. Aww. Let him know, let's go. It is now illegal to go through your husband's phone. And this is for every ear that can hear me. This is not just a Texas issue. This is also a federal crime. The Federal Wiretap Act states it is unlawful to intercept any wire, oral, or electronic communication. It is also unlawful to disclose the contents of the wire, oral, or electronic communication. Y'all know what's considered electronic communication? text messages, emails, DMs, and it doesn't matter if you're in the community property state saying that the phone is community property will not work. Even if your husband willingly gave you his password, it still would not work. The courts feel that even if he did give you the password, you went beyond the scope of what he thought you would reasonably be doing with his phone, such as taking screenshots of a text message that you would eventually use against him in court. 
I was in court waiting on my turn watching another hearing before me. It was a divorce case and the wife was on the stand talking about adultery. Her attorney then started the process of admitting text messages into evidence that showed the husband was talking to this woman and it was very inappropriate. The text messages 100% proved husband was cheating. There was photos, there was conversations about the other night. All of a sudden, husband lawyer jumps up and says, Your Honor, I think you need to admonish the witness about her Fifth Amendment right to self-incrimination because she's about to tell on herself and admit to a crime. Then he turns ever so slightly and says, I think you might want to tell her lawyer as well because they'll both be in jail together. The judge then proceeds to tell her that how she came about getting those text messages out of her husband's phone is potentially a violation of the Texas Wiretap Act and the Federal Wiretap Act. He looks up at her lawyer and says, Counsel, the fact that you're in possession of unlawful potential wiretap material incriminates you as well. And the judge did a quick recess so everyone could go consult with criminal law attorneys. That goddamn, is goddamn. major. That's what I'm talking about. Uh oh. Yeah, hey, you wire tech. You know what? Man. Give it up for the feds. Give it up for the feds. Give it up for the feds. Come on. Come on. God love I the feds. Man. All the men is loving that video right now. <laughs> Listen. God love the feds, goddamn. Listen. <laughs> I'm going to say it to my, to my future wife, guess what? You ain't got to have to worry about that law, baby, because you can go through my phone because I ain't going to have nothing in there. <laughs> but for all you old heifers, <laughs> well, you ain't going to be able to try it because you're going to be able to go through my phone. But um, for yeah, you fellas, super lock on. stay safe out there, okay? But now you know you got some federal backup. They got to stay out that phone. Uh-huh. No more no more crazy apps to hide your, your, your freaky pictures and all. Oh, yeah. Yes. You go through this, you going to jail. You going to jail. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, you can go through it, but you can't tell nobody. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. You just going to have to be sitting there mad. Yeah. I'm cool but with this that. this is my thing. Like, you, know, you know the saying, you look for dirt, you won't find it. You're going to find it. Yeah. I, I don't I don't want to do that because it's like at the end of the day, like I've been there. I ain't going to sit here and lie and say that I didn't. Mm-hmm. I, it was an ex years ago. I went through his phone and, you know, because he gave me the password and all that, you know, because I was helping yeah. him set up certain things. And then it was like, okay, I started realizing, okay, you like you changing. So you, you cheating. And then it's like, okay, yeah, the minute you go in the shower, that was that time to go in the shot in, in the phone. In the phone. And then I would find stuff. And then it was like, I was fine before you got in the shower. But by the time you got out the shower, now I got a whole attitude, but I can't tell you why. Oh, I'd but, been all but on didn't your it, phone. it showed like all of a sudden you got attitude, all of a sudden that means you must have went through my phone. But he ain't say nothing. You know what? I he mean, he ain't listen, say nothing. You know what I would do? I mean, I wouldn't do this now, but you know what I would do, man? You guys are still out there cheating and doing. Send a text message to yourself. Get out my phone, bitch. <laughs> 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 And leave your phone down, and when she goes to your phone, she see that message, get out my phone, bitch. You know what you be like, oh, that's or, right, I got you. Or text yourself something like, uh-huh, that $500 you wanted, <laughs> that's no longer. <laughs> <laughs> I bet money you put that phone right down. <laughs> oh, hey, hey Look, babe, just, you got a good shower? <laughs> Did you shower good? Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, yeah at, this, at, this, at this point in my life, it's just, not, uh, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth the peace. It's not worth, you know, messing up a relationship. Because sometimes people going to do whatever they going to do. Yeah. But I mean, if I'm happy and, and, and we everything is fine with us, why why make why mess it up? I mean, I say this. I mean, there there is no perfect relationship. Exactly. I mean, now look, if if your spouse is is handsome or your girl looks good, guys, I mean, they're going to hit on her. They're going to do that. I mean, I mean that, leave that jealousy shit alone. Now, if you have any any indication that your woman is out there cheating, I'm talking to my fellas, I'm talking about especially these young guys, man. They're a little soft nowadays. You got any indication that your woman is out there cheating or doing something that he's supposed to be doing, man? Leave her, bro. Leave her, man. You out there running around, man. You stalking the four o'clock in the morning, see if somebody gonna come out of her crib, man. You're like a goddamn fool. Yeah, but see, before you do all that, it's called communication. Talk to the to your partner first, like. Sometimes oh, you could be having these boy, inclinations. Well, you know, women lie. Lie. And men, men lie, <laughs> Big too. Big lies. <laughs> men lie, too. Well, but women at are. the end okay. of the day, <laughs> communicate first. Oh, so you could tell me that you ain't doing nothing, but then I know you're doing something? You lying heifer G. My All thing right. is, if you feel like you're going to go ahead and cheat, there's no point, to, yeah, there's no, no point in being in a relationship anyway. Just, just be single. Why is PGW 
call uh, send you a message saying, did you get the flower? <laughs> PGW sent flowers now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, that, I don't know who that is. Oh, you don't. But you just what? asked me for the money for the gas bill. But PGW, I guess they sent you flowers because I paid the bill, right? <laughs> Motherfucker. Shit, I'm Motherfucker Pizza Hut texting you talking about let's play hide the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Pizza Hut talking about let's play hide the sausage? Oh, God. <laughs> hey, let's go to the comments, man. So, comment number one. Common one is from man, S H I ish. We all going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> that means he must be one of those dudes who out there looking through his lady's phone. Facts. I ain't, listen. I'll be the first one to tell you. I ain't trying to get my feelings nah, hurt. You going what? Mm-mm. Man, you going to see something you don't want to see. Mm-mm. Then right? I'm then yeah. Then I'm going to jail. You right? Then I'm going to jail. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, guys out there sending. D picks and everything, man. You know, I mean, you like, oh my god, I thought my woman was wholesome. Yep, she's yeah, a, she's yeah, a, she's a whole yeah, my some. <laughs> you a whole to what some? <laughs> I'm sorry, YouTube. I don't know if you can say it, but look, I know it was my this bad. guy. This guy, uh, some years ago, he used to show me like the apps. It was like this picture vault used to yeah. hide what yeah <laughs> it, it, so this is the thing like you didn't know you thought it was like a regular app. And then, Until listen. you go to click on it, and then you needed a password to get into it, listen. or if but or that's if a dead giveaway. Yeah, but then he had it to where it was like it was the vault. You would you would click on the app. It looked like it was a game. It was a game on the front end, but you had to know how to get to the back end of the app to get to the quote unquote messages or whatever. So yeah, he had a whole way on how to hide that crap. I'm like, this is what? too much. Oh, oh wait, me y'all. Uh oh. Now this ain't listen. This ain't no this boy right here. This ain't no. I bet CJ got a bunch of ass. This you gonna look like a goddamn clock. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my lord! <laughs> listen, we we can't show that. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, this is, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this has nothing to do with me. It's um, just it's 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 something. It's private. It ain't mine, but it's, it's on your phone. So it is yours. Listen, it's not mine. <laughs> For, I got friends. Friends. Oh, that's yeah. BS. Yeah. This is not. Remember, my, he left his phone at home. And right. My son no, has my phone. No, no. Yeah. Bull. <laughs> my bull son bang. has my phone. Your other phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, he got my, my main phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, he's only carrying the after dark phone. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know, that's. That makes it even worse. That, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you just gave him up. Like, come on. You just incriminated your own friend. <laughs> Uh, Y'all can't get in no trouble together. So let's go to the next comment. <laughs> <laughs> next comment is from user. User says, so how do you win an adultery case then? How do you get proof without committing a crime? Probably you got to hire uh, an investigator, a Wait, private investigator. That's it. You hit around the mark. Hire an yeah. investigator. Oh, uh, okay. What? I guess. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, because if you hire that private investigator, what they'll do is they'll follow you around, take pictures and stuff like that. Like, you know. Well, I, I know one thing for sure. If it's something uh, not like wiretap fraud or anything like that, you got to subpoena those yeah. phone records. Yeah. yeah. And, and so. an investigator probably can, probably can do that through the courts. And therefore, at that point, it's not illegal. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I don't know the, I don't know the I'm process. pulling. I'm, I, I got to into my yeah. Heifer. Listen, give me your phone. My <laughs> homie, he has. I don't know how he did it. I don't know if he did it or he got some like super app. He would have like women text him, and when he text, it would come across like a, a sports like banner. Oh so it'd be like Sixers versus the Heat second quarter. Da 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 da. So it just would look like an update from a game. But that was a girl. And he would click on it. And then once he clicked on it, put his code in, it would pop up the girl's message. Wow. Yo, I, I need, See, yo, put, put, that, put that at my phone. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I need that at. Well, that's too much. AT, you don't even want that at. Be single. Nah, be single for all that. Nah. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, that's yo, too much. He going to get that at. It's going to be like a scroll. Uh-huh. Uh... Uh, Nordstrom, all right, laundry <laughs> on, uh, uh, lingerie <laughs> on sale. The you know start hot and stuff from Ooh, you girl. Now. You know, I got to call my girlfriend back. Whatever. <laughs> I 
start hot and stuff now, then that means that's that's the premise of how the relationship is starting off. Meaning, I'm yeah. being deceitful from the beginning. So if I'm starting off deceitful, then it's going to the whole relationship is based off of lies. It's not going to it's not going to lead to anything. So what's the point? Be single. Hey, you know, you you tell them. It's it's tell them. That's, that's why, simple. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's, it, that's how we lay it. At this age, it's like, come on, man. Y'all, oh, yeah. y'all, I'm not saying don't be single, like don't do your thing, but like. If you gotta be deceitful, it's it's too, it's too much work now. Yeah. I, I can't do it no more. I know. So, third comment. Let's go to the third comment. Third comment is from Big Wendy seventy uh, three. Through your boyfriend's phone, I can see that. But if you're lawfully wed, wed, your the argument the argument needs to be made. That half of the phone belongs to you. Uh uh-uh, uh, come on. Sorry. <laughs> come on. Here we go with is, this. Hold on, let me say 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 Listen, Big Winnie, this is not your interpretation of the law. Thank you. This is the goddamn law. <laughs> Period. Right. And, and, and Big Winnie, you probably that woman that's, um, I don't go 50-50. I, I, <laughs> so this ain't 50-50. This is 100% his phone. And 100% belongs to him. Period. Up out of here. <laughs> Yeah, so if the if the roles were reversed, is that the same? Does the same apply to you, Winnie? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, that's all what I would say. Exactly. See, you know, what I mean, but see, so but this is my thing because she specifically said husband. So does that apply to husband, husband yes. wife, and or boyfriend girlfriend? Like, does that still apply to boyfriend girlfriend? Yeah, you know what? You know why that still apply because a because lot a lot role? of these women think just because I'm married. I got carte blanche to just take away all his goddamn privacy. No, you still can't go through his mail. You still can't go through his phone. The man got a goddamn life outside of you. Right. Period. We, we, I stand up for all the husbands in America. Uh-oh. Listen, we come we come together as one, but we're not we're not Siamese. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I still got my own we life. We are Siamese. My own identity. Please. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it ain't no left nut, right nut. God damn! I got life outside of you, woman. It's left cheek, right cheek. <laughs> Tonight, left nut, right nut. Hey, just your pocket. Hey, YouTube, how you doing? <laughs> there it is. Come on, get another I'll disclaimer. Just wanna, I just want to apologize again. <laughs> we love the community. Whatever. We, we Whatever. The guidelines. <laughs> it's all T fault. No, it's not. Um, uh, Always blaming me. Next video. Um. Uh, yeah, next video. Plain and simple, never move in with a woman. Smart. You know what I mean? Plain and simple. Listen. I try to. T- I got friends that did that shit. I tried telling me, yo, man, don't move in with a woman. And next thing you know, hey, Los, man, can you help me move? <laughs> Fuck no. I got a story after we show the video. <laughs> All right, we going to let Peanut start. <laughs> it's this your podcast. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, Peanut. Oh, God. <laughs> never move in with a woman. Never move in with a woman. If you have a woman move in with you, make sure that your name is on the title, on the paperwork, on the lease, or both. Never move in somewhere where you are not on the title or the lease. Never, ever, ever do it. You've been warned. What she says, I don't want to spend the rest of my life alone. What she means, I don't want to have to pay this mortgage by myself. Men, are you half of the bills? Think about it. She can swing the bills on her own for a while after she's separated or divorced, but she doesn't want to. You are half her bills, half her rent, half her mortgage. You know, I said what I had to say. What you got, T? You want? You, you, no, you know we're gonna let CJ kick right. this one off yeah, because yeah, yeah. he just said he had a story. He got a story to tell. He got a story to tell. So, I had moved out my apartment, and I was talking to this young lady, and I said, "Hey, listen, I'm gonna um, just come here for a couple months, stack my money up, and find a place that I like because none of the places that was available I liked." And so, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> and so. I'm near, I might be there like two months. Um, a friend of mine, he knew a young lady who had her own home health care agency. She was making money. He said, listen, I'm gonna put you on her. Y'all can have a conversation. She can help you, you know, figure out how you can start your own joint. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. So as a favor, 
to him, you know, hooking me up with a business opportunity, I had purchased a bottle of Ciroc. I forget what flavor it was. So I had the bottle like in my passenger seat on the floor. The young lady that I was uh, talking Living to with? at the time, oh, okay, okay. she saw the bottle. She interpreted that the bottle was obviously for some some other reasons. <laughs> so then she went through my email and saw uh, a dinner reservation. So again, it's this young lady. It's my friend, me. Cool. So, so the lady that the girl that you moved in with was your friend? No, 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 no. My okay. friend is the one who put me on a business opportunity. Okay. So it's us three at dinner. At the last minute, my friend pulls out. He has something to do. So I'm meeting the young lady or whatever. In the middle of the dinner, me and her, she's telling me about this. She's I, I never forget the moment. She's on her phone showing me her payroll system, how she pays her employees. And mm -hmm. I get a text message. All my clothes is in the snow. Wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and I'm sitting there. I'm like, wow. What the hell? She says, yeah, have fun at, at your dinner with your little friend over there. You know, you know how women do. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, so I can't, I don't want to cancel this woman because it's like I'm getting put on a business opportunity but I'm like, my stuff is in the snow <laughs> in the ghetto. So, so now go, you can't even focus. I'm, I'm not focused at all. <laughs> she talking about taxes and uh, bank accounts. I'm like, uh, my favorite sweatshirt on top. I can see the snow building up on this damn. Oh, oh come on. So listen. So I'm like, all right, cool. So she sees the snow. She's like, oh, it's starting to snow. I'm like, yeah. So you ready to get out of here because you know I don't want the snow to get too bad. She's you like, you in the back of your mind thinking like, wait a minute, my clothes get messed up. Listen. She said, I only live three blocks away. I'm like, oh. So she's in no rush because she can walk home. I didn't know where she lives. So I'm like, oh, no, no, listen, I can walk you. I'm like, she's like, oh, I said, I could take you. She's like, all right, I take her. Oh, God. I said, thank you for the information. I, I'm at the fr I'm at her front door. Like, I really appreciate this. And she's still talking. I'm like, I'm going to follow up with you because we got to have another one. We can have a longer session. She's still going on and on. So I'm just telling you the payroll. I'm like, girl, I don't give a damn about this payroll. I'm about to be naked tomorrow. I'm like, no clothes. She finally goes in the crib. Oh, Thank shit. God it was snowing hard, so nobody was outside. And I <laughs> rushed up there, and I got my clothes in my car, and that was the last time. I can't even remember <laughs> that when that was. That might have been like 2015, 2016. So what happened to the chick? I mean, <laughs> I got up out of there. Hey, look, I, listen. I, whatever apartment was available the next day, oh, I'm, Lord, out. I'm out of here. Yeah. I ain't, look, let me tell you something. Ain't nothing worse. I mean, I had I have a horror story when you know I just lived with this girl, and um, you know we was going through our thing, and she went she went through my email, read the email that you know I me mean, I had, you know I mean I was meeting up with a, a Italian chick, straight from Italy. She was flying in from Italy. Okay. I, was meet, I was meeting up with her, you know I me mean, at the hotel. Y'all was cheating, but shit. Lord have <laughs> mercy. Lord have <laughs> mercy. He still was over going so through my damn email. She, she had every right then. She had every right then. See? Listen. <laughs> you you uh, were wrong. You I was mean, wrong. yes, I was wrong, but, Listen. you know, he still shouldn't be going through my email. Listen, that, that, well, that. I'm, unlike the two of you, gentlemen, <laughs> well, I don't have any stories. I've Listen. never had anybody listen you never, to me. You never went through a man email? Um, or you never I'm sorry You never threw you never, you never had a, a man never lived with you I never No because never? my kids No because, You never lived with a man No because I had my own house With my kids I'm not gonna let nobody Just live in my house With me and my kids So What was the longest That a man ever stayed In your house Like Like spent the night yeah. A man A man A man never spent the night In your crib With your kids in there If, if so They didn't know he was there uh, You mean the, He would come like Late at night And, and then, then And then be out morning. by Early in the morning Yeah so yeah, you, you, you did I your thing really and you got rid nobody. of them, huh? I never really had nobody around my kids. Oh, get out. Yeah. Remember, she had been saying for episodes that but, she goes and, over men's oh, house yeah, and, 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 and they corrupt kids. their kids. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I don't care about your kids. They, kids. <laughs> their kids, they got nothing to do with me. Now, if you yeah. come over here and see me yeah. dropping the Yeah, thing, walking around with titties out, yeah. no panties on. They see me. You know what I mean? In the kitchen talking about, you want some eggs, baby girl? <laughs> now, they see me dropping down, get my eagle on. That's on you as a parent. Stop, man. Nigga, it's eagle. That's on you as a father. I can't help it. 
shit. Run and get your ear yeah. in my house. <laughs> it's only saint behaviors on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. We know how. We, look, we, we know how tea operate. <laughs> yeah. But look, look, let's go to the comments. So. Go to the first comment is from Rose Bailey. Rose says that goes both ways. Yes, Fat. Rose, we completely agree with you. That does go both ways. Fat, listen, I say it to fellas, but I mean, well, the only difference is, man, we not we not quick to kick women out. We'll give them nah. a little grace. Women will find a uh, 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 eyelash, not the whole eyelash, one little eyelash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this must be Karima's. <laughs> What? <laughs> and now it's, it's, it's a done bun. So you know what? No, because you know it was this guy I used to deal with. This was like some years back, and um, he was obviously a male whore. And hey, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cut you off in your story, but you said he was a male whore, but you used to deal with him. Yeah. Because, okay. All right. Go. Get, yeah. Con but continue. <laughs> So I started finding stuff and it wasn't like I was looking for anything because I would go over there and mm -hmm. I, anybody that knows me, I'm like the meticulous type of person. So yeah. I'm cleaning and whatever like that. I st one time I'm taking a shower and it was hair in my little poof, you know, like the poof that you use, you know, to take a shower, yeah. the shower yeah. gel. That chick used my stuff. What? Oh, he violated. Well, what if it was his sister? No, 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 no. He violated she and, and I can tell she was purposely leaving stuff there. For real? Yeah, because it was she started leaving like and he was getting sloppy with it too. Cause now now it's like curly hair on the bathroom floor. And then one time I found panty I'm like, you know what? Oh man, yeah, he much. was yeah. He was yeah. getting sloppy. Yeah, he, he was, was getting real Either sloppy. He didn't care or he just was out of pocket. Yeah. It had to be. Yeah, one well or the other. so the, the 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 issue with him was he used to drink a lot. Oh, he, well, drunk. he got yeah. drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. he was always yeah. drunk. Yeah. Oh, see, nope. So, and uh, I had enough. I said, nope, can't do this. So, yeah. you got to cheat and be sober. You yeah, yeah, I mean, no, yeah, see, you that can't. was the thing. Like, when he was sober, he was cool. It was when he was drinking and then the hookah and with the hookah. combination. Well, you know, you know, you know what they say, you know what they say, uh, uh, a drunk mind eat a sober coochie. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Did they say that? <laughs> oh, whoa. I don't know. My All bad. All I know is. <laughs> All I know Maybe is. Maybe I need to get I drunk. I remember man. one time he called, he called me because he was like, oh, my God, my house, my, my apartment on fire. I'm like, how the hell the apartment get on fire? She burned it down. <laughs> well, when he got sober, by the time I figured out, by the time I got there, I started realizing, like, what was going on. He was smoking the hookah. And, you know, like, the if cold. you know anything about the hookah, you got to have burned a it cold. Down. The coal fell over, fell onto the bed, burnt the blanket, and then now you know here the blanket starting to catch it. Catch oh shit! Dude, you should have like you should have called that bitch <laughs> and then hung up on him. <laughs> no, I ain't calling nobody. <laughs> you should have called Karima. I think she's a firefighter. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, hey, um. White man in Philadelphia, T got a tickle in her throat. <laughs> she needs some help with yeah, it. Yeah, I, I need some glaze. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is that was that the last video? Are we wrapping we this need up? <laughs> Uh, I don't know how many times uh, I can, uh, we, need another, we need another YouTube apology. <laughs> hey, YouTube, I'm sorry I'm back. <laughs> we love the community and we respect the guidelines. He's always okay? that spokesperson. Okay. We want to be here and we also love to be monetized, okay? So please scratch that last one out. We're going to edit that out. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, editor, yes, yeah, you know, we need to get that part out of there. Where are we at? 50, I think that might be like 56 minutes. <laughs> Whatever. At the 56 yeah. minute mark, yeah, cut that out. Yeah, you, 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 you can cut that out. You Thank can cut you. that out. <laughs> so, where are we at? So, we got, do we got, no, that was all the comments. Anyways, let's go to the next video. This yes. Podcast. This Strong Podcast. Live from, from Philadelphia. The 215. Like, subscribe. Yeah, you heard the man. God damn it. I'm this feeling very video? I'm feeling very aggressive. Oh Lord. This is the last video? I'm ready, I'm ready to choke a bitch. Oh, whoa. Oh, see? Hey, now, you YouTube. know what? Uh, now, I'm now, sorry, yeah. Another now, apology. You need the apology. Another apology. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know you, I just know said what? a couple minutes ago. You know what, CJ? You might as well just record your we apologies and every time we egg up, just press play. We love everybody in the community. <laughs> we don't condone racism, <laughs> domestic violence. <laughs> Essay, none of that stuff. 
<laughs> oh, pornoism. Oh, None of that yes. stuff. We don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening tonight. But he's going to try to make it seem like he's the angel of the group. I'm no, not he trying is to not. say nothing. I'm he just trying to keep not. our channel alive. <laughs> He like loose. <laughs> I'm struggling here tonight, yo. Oh, I'm, I'm struggling tonight. All right, here we go. So we got video number five. We got video number five, y'all. Video number five, man. We gonna get serious, man. We getting serious tonight, right here. We gonna get serious tonight, right here, right now. No more jokes. What that mean? What that? <laughs> what serious mean? I don't know, man. I'm just looking at the camera, man. I'm, just, I'm fucking struggling right now. <laughs> All right, listen, we got these parents that said their kids was given sleepy stickers to make them fall asleep See. while they were in school. See. <sighs> sleepy sticker. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's find out what the fuck is going on with this school district. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. Two teachers and two aides have been suspended so far. Still, they don't feel comfortable sending their kids back to school. What happened with the stick? The stick um, makes me fall asleep. This is four-year-old Lane Luviano. She's the one that broke this case open in September when she snuck one of her sleepy stickers out of the classroom. She kind of pulled up her little shorts and said, Mom, look, this is my sleeping sticker. And I was like, the what? When Lane's mom, Lisa, saw the sticker, she thought it was strange and asked her daughter about it. And the teacher gives it to you or she put it? On my arm. On your arm? Which part? Point to it. Right up there? Yeah. And what's it look like? Um, sleeping with a moon on it. Lane's dad says he's known something was wrong since school first started. Two o'clock in the morning, I'm hearing her. The room, some noise in the room, and I'm going over there. She's still up. And so she gives you the sticker. You put the sticker on, and it makes you tired? Yeah. Wow. And all the kids get them? Yeah. They never notified the parents. So Lisa took matters into her own hands. She reached out to the other parents in Lane's class and sent them pictures of the patch to see if their kids were getting the stickers too. I showed it to my four-year-old um, and she said, yes, that's, that's the sleepy sticker. Melissa Guilford immediately went online to research the sticker. Sleep Z patch. Mm. Okay, so, and if you read the ingredients on them, it has a lot of, I mean, it's just things I've never even heard of. And they're giving them drugs to make them sleep, to keep them quiet. Najala Abdullah tells us she'd noticed changes in her son, who told her he'd been getting the stickers too. She says he'd been crying, stopped eating, and was bringing home lunches that he hadn't touched. The parents shared with us an email they received from Northgate Crossing Elementary's principal today. The email states two of the school staff members were put on leave after they allegedly administered sleeping supplements to students on September 24th. The email also states the Spring ISD Police Department is investigating. You know, listen, though, before I pass this off to you guys, <clears throat> somebody getting choked out in that school Me. right there, boy. It's some. If you give my <clears throat> child some some. Um, sleepy stickers. Sleepy stickers. Hey, you, you give my child a goddamn aspirin, I'm choking you out. Period. Period. What'd you say, T? My thing is, is they said, okay, oh, yeah, they didn't notify the parents. Yeah, there is nothing to notify because it's illegal. You they ain't supposed to be doing you it. You ain't supposed to be doing it. So this is my point. All I know is there's a difference between the teachers my daughters had, which are older, compared mm -hmm. to the teachers my sons had, Shakur who are younger. A lot of these teachers now these days are not qualified, nor do they have the patience to teach these kids. These kids, and then you have a lot of these these schools. Sometimes I don't know what it is with this school. The classrooms are are <clears throat> there too. It's too many kids. It's the the ratio is a, of uh, kids to teachers. It's probably no more than thirty, right? Is that it, well? Not for not for not preschool. For one. Preschool is like. It uh, got to be like eight or ten. Yeah, it's like eight to one. Or yeah, it's like, to one. Under yeah, they're four, supposed they to have eight to one. like an assistant. But see, this is the other thing. Is like you you don't have these these teachers. They don't have the patience. You know, they they don't have the <clears throat> wherewithal to like want to involve these kids to make them be more interactive. You can't just have these kids just sitting down. So you you giving them a sleepy sticker to make them sleep. Yeah, of course they're going to be up all night long. This is not this is not cool. First of all, suspension is not cool. They need to yeah. be in jail. Yeah. Okay? Because that's a drug. Yeah. That's a drug. And you don't know what type of, of allergic reaction right. that, that child may have. You, you, absolutely right. Let's just say a child had an allergic reaction in that school, and next thing you know, now that child is in the hospital somewhere. Uh, Man, that's a lot. The school's going to have a lawsuit on their hand. What would you say, bro? 
I mean, at the end of the day, <coughs> I, I, I'm gonna give it to y'all twofold. So again, like like y'all said, you putting that on the kid, you don't know what what they have. You don't know if they have any allergies. Mm-hmm. You don't have anything. They gonna mm-hmm. have a heart condition. Anything you put that sticker on them, that medication mixes in their system, and God forbid a kid could pass away. Yeah. So that's very reckless. Number one. Number two. At the end of the day, like T said, if you don't have the patience, why is you working why are you with those kids? <coughs> they kids. They're going to run and jump and fuss mm-hmm. all day. That's what they do. That's what they're meant to do. If you know you don't have the patience for that, go work at the sanitation department. Okay? <laughs> Somewhere else. Go work at UPS. But whatever. Just don't work with kids. Here's my other part, though. <coughs> How bad was them kids? For y'all to get sleepy sick. Sleepy sick. To multiple kids, like what? Did they get them to the whole classroom? And it was September the twenty fourth. School God, just started. School just started. So <laughs> I think y'all was trying to them kids. Listen, and I'm I'm being funny, but I'm being serious. September, June is a long way. Them kids would be drunk as hell by the time school ended. You wonder why? I'm, laugh, I'm think being was serious. A I think it was a testament to the actual teacher because my thing is. And see, it's what CJ is saying. If you're giving these kids this sleepy sticker in September. In June, they're going to be like the thriller video. Right. What? But see, and just my thing is, like, just started. This, you gotta under, the other thing you got to understand, the dosage. You know, let's just say if yeah. you give a child medicine, the dosage that you give to a child is not the same as an adult. And yep. if you think about it, think about kids. If I'm a kid, me and those kids. I see his sticker on. I just say, "Ooh!" Now I put the sticker on me. I have double the medicine. Right. Or maybe if I touch three or four friends, now I got five stickers on me. Wonder why I'm sitting there. I'm drooling. Just I'm, I'm passed out because I, I got I, I got to take the camera off. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now your kid over there. That's why that one lady said her son. He came home. When he ate he, lunches. He, right. he, he drooling. <laughs> and he he can't talk because he is. Drunk <laughs> off of this damn medicine. Like, I, that lady was too calm for me. I would have beat the whole school up. Okay? They got me thinking my son, uh, he autistic. No, he, he drunk. Because he only gave him 20 sleepy stickers. Now he all messed up. I'm, I'm supposed to go get him tested and all this. Come on, man. All because y'all doing BS. I'm telling you, I would have been in there snapping. My son's smart. Y'all talking about he ain't talk all day. He can't talk. Oh he is gosh. sedated because he got 14 <laughs> stickers from his little from his little classmates. He don't know. Y'all got to chill. Like, again, I'm, that whole school would be called the CJ Elementary School after that. Because I'm suing he that school. CJ I'm serious. My son in there, I'm me and his mom taking him to all kind of speech therapy and all. Spending all this money. And all the whole time he been drugged. He got 16 sleepy stickers on his back that we don't even know he got. Because he got his shirt on. Every time we pick him up from daycare, he sleep. <laughs> it's six o'clock. Why is my son sleep? But then he wide awake two o'clock. Yeah, two o'clock in the morning. All I hear, I hear Fortnite revving up. Boom! It's too much. Yo, my man. son, we heard. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, YouTube. I mean, <laughs> I'm just. He said like, 20 sleepy sticks I'm on his shirt. I'm serious. Them kids, they don't know. I, my, my, I took off one, five of my friends' stickers. Now he dragging his leg <laughs> like he got a bad hip <laughs> because his leg is just dead because he got all the sleepy medicine in his leg. I'm like, son, what are you doing? What have you? Have you hurt oh your kneecap? God. Like, come on. He is a fool. Uh, I'm just saying, man. Like, you never oh. know. You never know. You just never know. Y'all got to chill. This joint podcast. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. This joint podcast, man. So what we got? So we're going to go to comment number one, man, because my stomach is hurting, man. <laughs> comment number one from They Call Me Two Cow. Two Cow says I need a sleepy sticker right now. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. I feel you. Hey, T. All of, look, let me tell you something, T. I'm going to say this, man. I need to go on Amazon and get me one a couple of them sleepy stickers, man. Because the next time I get in an argument with a woman, I'm going to slap that shit around the arm. <laughs> Boom. You know what, you know what Lose, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> every, every time that bitch, every time that bitch get out of line, I'm going to hit her with a sleepy sticker. You know, you know what, Lose? Anybody, when you meet Lose, don't come to his house. No, but wait. <laughs> Remember that video we did? I don't know if it was the last episode or episode before. 
I, what's her name? Heather or Tammy or whatever. And she woke up in the ball crib and she called the cops. Oh, Maggie. Oh, Maggie. Maggie. No, don't get Maggie. Don't yeah, don't get Maggie. <laughs> don't get Maggie. First of all, she could go somewhere. She wasn't She wasn't confined because she went to the daggone door. Yeah, yeah door to find out where the hell she was at. Me. I'm just saying, whatever it is, don't yeah, get I Maggie. Mean, I, I hit a bitch with a sleepy stick. <laughs> What, bitch? You shut up. Oh, my God. <laughs> See? <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to comment number Y'all are dangerous. Two. Uh, comment number two. So, comment number two is from... Oh, shit, I'm choking on my spit. <laughs> Sky... What is it? Sky Goddess. Sky Goddess, 91. This definitely has to be illegal. My high school yes. nurse wouldn't even allow me to give me Tylenol without for a migraine. Asking, oh yep. my God, without even asking the parents. So yeah. if, the, if the child is sick and let's just say they got a headache, the nurse has to call you first and mm-hmm. ask, is it mm-hmm. okay that we mm-hmm. give them some Tylenol? Mm-hmm. And that's all they're allowed to give you. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't even understand why you have something like that in school. No, well, I think that was some bullshit. Hold on. Did they say that all the teachers was doing it, or no, just it that was two. They just one that particular class. teacher? Was, that, was that class? class yeah. yeah, but they said it was two teachers. Yeah, because it's probably two teachers in that one room. It probably got, you know, twenty students. Ridiculous. Um, Ridiculous. Like a teacher in a teacher's age. Yeah, like, like, come on, that's out of control. Giving out motherfucking sleepy stickers. Drug in my damn kid. Yeah. Yeah, they not gonna be around kids ever again. Oh no, nah, no. Nah. Oh, they done. Their career yeah. done. 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 Other two last comment from Meteor Man. Meteor Man says same thing happened here in Philadelphia at a daycare. What? That's a crime, and teachers should have been uh, been fired immediately, arrested. Yep, that's what I said. And not put on leave. Right. Well, that that was the part for me. Oh, they on like, administrative how you, leave. How you suspended? What would no, they need to leave for? In jail. Where, what, what do yeah. we need to investigate? These are not. Children who are of able mind to put the stickers on themselves. Like if it was, mm-hmm. if it was, say, tenth graders, you could tell them, "All right, don't use them stickers. They got medicine in them. You put it on yourself. Cool." These kids don't know, so this is an open and shut case. Right, it's nothing that we need to nothing. administratively leave for. Yeah, we can administratively. I could either administratively whoop, whoop your ass. Or you could get fired. Either or. And what was what was conclusive to me is like you got these kids, they what, five, six years old, and all of them are saying the same thing. They're all naming it the same thing. The, the sleepy thing. sticker. Yep. The sleepy making sticker. me sleepy. Exactly. Like, yeah. No. No. Yeah. If I was a teacher, They're I'll, not gonna come together and say, Oh yeah, let's just say that Miss 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 uh Miss Miss So and so is giving us the sleepy sticker and this is what it looks like. No. Obviously one of the parents found the daggone sticker online. Yeah. You know them teachers are like, Man, fuck you kids. And put on it <laughs> go right, right in class. Listen, <laughs> the next time we went to school, my daughter or my son would have been like, "Hey, my dad came up here. He uh he made Miss So and So go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, uh, knock your ass off. Put the, put the sleep sticker. Yeah, she, she you sleep. She sleep now. <laughs> like, I tell you, stop. Boy, this your podcast, man. Stay with the sleepy stickers, man. Uh, so we got we got we got we got one more video. Um, how to say bye to the bitches. Bye, bitches. 